Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a drill bit in the generator shape design in Kitsia V5. To start off, I'm going to take the part design workbench and uh, I'm going to start to create a profile for the drill bit. So I'll select the plane and give sketch. So the first part, the creation of the profile is over now. Now you can switch back to the generator shape design and uh, double click on the helix tool and uh, this is our first point and uh, the axis is going to be the x-axis and uh, the pitch is going to be 20 and the height is going to be 100. So this is going to be the guide curve for your, uh, uh, for your drill bit profile. So just click OK and double click, select the point, X axis, 20, 100. And uh, this third one, axis, X axis, 20, 100. So and the fourth one, X axis. So we have four. Uh, four guide curves being created now. Now I'll select this plane and give a offset of uh, 100. I have a plane over here now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a sketch here now and uh, I'm going to project the sketch to 3D. So I'll select the project sketch to 3D and I'll project these into 3D so you can see the same stuff coming over here now come out of the sketch and uh, switch back to the part design workbench and uh, create multi-section solid and select the first so as you can see both of the sketches are being selected that means this both of them have come no just uh, give the multi section, select the first sketch and the second sketch. Okay, okay, and uh, make sure the closing point is on the same side so you can replace and uh, keep the closing point over here, just like we have it over here. curves are 1, 2, 3, 4. Now click OK and we have our first path the creation of drill bit being done. And now you need to create the body for the drill bit. So I'm going to select project this to 3D, come out of the sketch and do a padding of say 100. sketches so this sketch what I'm going to do is uh, this 30 degree is the standard for the drill bit so I'm going to revolve this particular sketch so let me just leave it over there itself because we have uh, 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 okay fine now I'm going to come back to the uh, wireframe that is a generative in shape design and I'm going to select the sketch and revolve it with respect to x axis and give a 360 degree so now let me come back to the pond design workbench and give insert surface base feature split so I'll select this surface to split and the direction should be downwards so this particular part which was on top uh, is being removed. So this is how a drill bit 
will look like once you do the splitting. So now again over here we have some more work. So that is you need to come back to the generator and shape design workbench and uh, use the sweep tool. Select this as your profile and here create line and uh, you need to go to the tangent to curve and select this as your curve and this as your point and click OK and click OK and you have the surface being created. The reason why we are creating this surface is because as you can see here I have done the padding right here and we are not having the continuity that's the reason we are doing it. Now come back to the part design workbench as we have done previously go to insert surface space feature split so you can select the split reverse direction click OK and uh, hide this so you can see you have a proper good beautiful continuity over here you can do the same step over here so I'll go to the uh, generate and shape design so this time I will use a separate method I'll use extrapolate this is my boundary this is my curvature I'll click OK now use a sweep tool this is your profile and this is your right curve ok uh, you need to uncheck the assemble result so that the uh, extrapolate is coming separately so if you want to know anything more about extrapolate go back to my previous uh, tutorial where you have an exclusive video on extrapolate so now you have to go to sweep and this is your profile and this is your right curve click ok so you have to and uh, now you have to go to the part design workbench and uh, go to the insert surface base feature split select the splitting element reverse direction click ok and uh, hide it and our drill bit is being done so uh, try this out go uh, step by step and if you face any difficulty if you uh, have any suggestions you can uh, ask me if you feel like I'm going a little bit faster you can ask me to slow down and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you